Christmas seems to sneak up on us every year and to tell you the truth, I'm not mad about it. However, I refuse to allow the messes and activities to just slip by this year. So we are starting early with a pre-Christmas kind of deep clean and decluttering here in our house so that come time to decorate for the holidays, it is not only easier to do, but we also get to enjoy it. My kids are five and seven, so they are at the perfect age for Christmas traditions, making memories, and part of that as a mother is creating the magic in the holiday, and I don't wanna get overwhelmed. So without going completely overboard and decorating for Christmas yet, that's to come, my husband is making me wait until Halloween is over though. So we're gonna add in some new festive touches to our primary bedroom today. We're gonna deep clean it and I got the urge to purge. So we're also going to declutter it and move into our main living area today to again, get a head start on deep cleaning and decluttering that space as well. My hope for you today is to encourage you to either relax and enjoy some cleaning motivation or if you have things to do, get up girl and tackle your mess and clean along with me today. When it comes to deep cleaning our primary bedroom, I already put the bed sheets into the washing machine and we're going to damp dust all of our furniture so that when it comes time to decorate in here, there's not much for cleaning to do. The goal is to clear out the clutter and put things away that just don't need to be out on display Again, so when we start decorating for Christmas, the whole house is already clean and clutter-free, making the process of decorating a lot more enjoyable. It's the time of year, winter wonderland. My winter wonderland. It's the time of year, my winter wonderland. My winter wonderland. to hang around and celebrate this day everyone's smiling and it's snowing it's the time of year again i'm happy you're here my winter wonderland oh my winter wonderland oh my winter time for the bedding refresh. We have purchased the same sheet set for our guest bedroom when we did that room makeover. And when I got super sick, I wasn't able to sleep. So I moved into our guest bedroom and ended up having the coziest, best sleep of my life in those sheets. I ended up buying them during Prime Day for our master. Oh, oh my goodness. And after sleeping on them now for over a week, I have to say these are really are the softest sheets ever. They come in so many different colors. They are super affordable. Even when they're not on sale, I highly recommend them. around I think I like the green on the top better than the white let me know what you guys think down below we are mostly using what we have and just trying to really 
amp up the space and again add that touch of green for the festive holiday season. The key to a cozy bed is adding in all of the layers. So we added in this Casaluna blanket from Target. Everything is super affordable. So I will be sure to have everything linked down below in the description if you are looking for a bedroom refresh on a budget. That feels so good to have the room clean and the new sheets on and everything just feels so good. Now it's time to take it to the next level and declutter. Now, this is gonna be really hard for me as I am actually going through like all of the stuff that I haven't gone through yet. And a lot of it is jewelry, a lot of it is like sentimental. And so we're gonna do it. I don't know, I get the urge to purge. I'm getting chills kind of talking about it because I feel like it's gonna be really hard for me to let go. And then behind this door, I thought we were already unpacked, fully unpacked. We're not. So it's time to go through these boxes. There's pictures in here. Again, lots of sentimental stuff that we're gonna be going through today. And I don't know, we'll see where it goes. So here is my declutter pile and, and then I have just some papers turned over for privacy reasons, but that is all trash, like everything that's in there, this random like earrings and stuff. And then again, all of this is being decluttered. I'm going to donate all of it as I just don't wear it anymore. It's not my style. It's big. It's bulky. I truly don't ever foresee myself wearing these pieces again. And some of them I haven't even worn to this day. So it is time to declutter them and get them out of the house. I am still keeping quite a bit though. I have kept all of my jewelry from my mom and then I'm keeping a few pieces that are really simple. I have, I think three or four pairs of these Hilberg and Burke earrings. I absolutely adore them and again I love how simple they are. So we ended up keeping those ones. We have the rose gold, we have this kind of amber color, clear or white whatever you want to call it and then the bigger ones as well. I'm even getting rid of these Kate Spade earrings that I have never worn. I'm also getting rid of this. This was actually one of my favorite earrings. It's from Kate Spade as well, but there's only one of them, so there's no point in keeping one. These accidentally got thrown in the donate pile. I am not donating these. These were from our first trip to Mexico as a family, and so we're going to keep these. I don't know where yet, but I am keeping them per my husband's request. So this one has all of my wedding jewelry, so I'm obviously gonna keep those. And then down here, I kept this set for a bold piece as it's neutral and I do like it. It's from my Mary Kay days. And then in the bottom shelf is all of my pearls. I don't think I wanna get rid of these. I feel like pearls are timeless and you just never know. I know I like never wear jewelry, literally once a year maybe i barely wear my wedding rings but um i do think i want to keep those for now i'm not ready to quite get rid of them As I'm going through my jewelry, I realize just how much has piled up over the years. There are pieces I haven't worn in ages. Things I've forgotten about 
like honestly i didn't even know i had half of this stuff so i'm being ruthless and only keeping the pieces that truly bring me joy or that i actually wear Everything else is going into that donation bag where I hope they'll find new life with someone else. It feels really great to simplify my collection and make some space. Now we're heading on to the closet, which to be honest has become a bit of a black hole of forgotten items and random things that, well, really just don't belong here. I'm pulling everything out as you can see and being honest with myself about what I actually use versus what is just taking up valuable real estate today is about letting go and only keeping what i truly need or love once it is all cleared out i feel like i can breathe a little easier in here now we're one step closer to that holiday ready home with so much less clutter to tackle when it's time to decorate all right so i got my jewelry off of my end table which i love I'd like to get a lamp or put up a wall sconce or something in here. I'm not sure yet, but I'm loving without my jewelry stand there because I just don't need it on display. Now everything is emptied off of the floor, as you can see in the closet. All right, here is everything that I am donating. I transferred it to this box that I found in my closet because why now the heck we're not? moving into the main living space and getting things deep cleaned and decluttered here. I really like to maintain our entryway as it is the first thing we see when we come into our house and I cannot stand when there is stuff everywhere. We've created systems here and everything has a home so it's really only the floors that need to be done today. Now that I'm watching this back and seeing all of those shoes, they probably don't all need to be here so we will start moving some of our shoes into the garage to create a more simplified entryway once we are closer to the holiday season and our weather is more consistent. Another project we've been wanting to do for quite some time is hanging our TV. So my husband finally got out the laser level and hung it up on the wall. It does look a little high right now, but we based the measurements off of our future built-in cabinets that we are planning in that room, hopefully next year. You need it. 
This is the space we are going to tackle next. So it's been a while since I've decluttered under here and it is time to get it organized. Now that these areas of our home are deep cleaned and decluttered, it's time to focus on maintaining this space throughout the busy holiday season by establishing some daily habits like a 10 minute evening reset to help keep everything more manageable. If you're like me and need to juggle a busy schedule with kids, family, and holiday preparations, try to tackle small cleaning tasks each day instead of saving it all for one big cleanup. And that is it, a deep clean and declutter routine that you can knock out in a single day just in time for the holidays. I hope this video inspired you to get your home ready for the festive season. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more holiday prep tips, cleaning routines, and decorating ideas. I cannot wait to share my hosting for the holiday series. So this is what's left. As you can see, there's not much to declutter when you're just doing a maintenance declutter. So the books just need to go back in their home, which is on their shelf in their room. That is garbage. I don't even know where any of the cards are. And then those all just need to go back in their homes as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.